lesson, I'm going to go over a very commonly used feature in Excel called AutoSum. I'm just not sure we all use it in the fastest, most efficient way. So I'm just going to quickly go over AutoSum and, and what it does. Here I have a sample spreadsheet. I have a group of numbers, columns and rows, and I would like to quickly add up these numbers. Now, some of us might use AutoSum in this manner. I'm going to click at the bottom of the first column, and then on the Home tab, over on the end, you have a button called AutoSum. If I click that, it basically asks me and says, do I want to add up B2 to B11 in this particular example? So if I hit enter, it puts in the total. I could then use that fill handle, which we talked about in another video, and it fills it across. And I could do the same thing for rows and fill it down. Good, right? And we go, fine, we're happy with that. It, it worked. And I'm not going to argue with that. It did work. However, there's a fast way to do this. Um, and this applies to a, a varying thing in AutoSum. So in certain situations, there are faster ways to get this job done. And what I can do is if I highlight the numbers I want to add up plus the blank row, I want to put the total. So it could be down here. It doesn't, doesn't really make a difference. Um, in this case, my total is directly below my numbers. So I'm just going to select all the columns I want to add up plus the blank row. I want to put the total and we could even do the column at the same time. So I basically have selected all the numbers plus the blank row for the total plus the blank column for the total. And then I'm just going to hit that same auto sum button. You can see it does it in one click. I don't have to uh, click into this cell, click the auto sum, hit enter, fill it across, then do the same thing over here. It's one click job gets done. So try that with auto sum. If you have a situation that will work for it, other items you can use the auto sum for, I'm just going to do pretty much the exact same thing. Except this time I'd like an average. So we don't want to associate AutoSum with just adding up numbers. What you can do, you can click the little arrow next to the AutoSum button, the little pull down, and you notice you can choose from any um, variety of essentially summary functions. So in this case, I want to choose average. In goes the average. Let's do one more example. I'm going to highlight the numbers plus the row for the max and the column for the max. Hit the drop down, choose max. Max, of course, returns the maximum number in a range of numbers. As you can see, it goes in. So there's a little brief expanding explanation of the auto sum button. Give it a try. It's a very, very useful feature in Excel.